So you're looking to make the move to the Auburn Opelika area and you're trying to figure out which park should I be going to? Where am I going to go walk my dog? Where am I going to go take a stroll on the weekend? Where am I going to go ride my mountain bike? Well, today in this video, I'm going to cover eight of the best parks here in the city of Auburn. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, Alex Acuff here with Acuff Weekly Group, brokered by EXP Realty. And if this is your first time to our channel, I want you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell notification. That way you don't miss out on another video about everything eating, sleeping, living, and playing in the Auburn Opelika area. And we are getting reach outs every single week and we absolutely love it. So if you're looking to make the move to the Auburn Opelika area, I want you to go ahead and reach out to me and my team so we can be the boots on the ground and help you make that transition as seamless as possible. So today we're going to be covering eight different parks and we're going to cover everything from walking parks, dog parks, skate parks, mountain bike parks, kids parks, and also educational resources. So we're going to jump right into it. The first park I'm going to cover is Kiesel Park and Kiesel Park is really the best dog park in town. And what I mean is that they have two miles of trails that you can walk. It's actually the largest park. So it's 157 acres with, of course, that really long trail. It's also got tons of green space, plenty of room for bigger dogs to roam. You can have your dogs off the leash, but I will say there's going to be a lot of people there. So just make sure you have your leash in hand. Also, it's got a creek running through it. It's got a lot of nice nature scenery. It's kind of around more rural city of Auburn. Really, it's located on the west side over off of Chadwick Lane. And one of the perks about this park is that actually right across the street, there's actually a uh, dog kennel and a place I believe you can take your dog to get a bathe as well, uh, which is called uh, Kiesel Bark. Um, but yes, the park is great. It's got plenty of parking. Uh, a couple things that I really love about this park is that this is actually the venue for Auburn City Fest. And so uh, Auburn City Fest is our large, large largest festival put on by the city of Auburn. Plenty of local companies sponsor it and vendors are there. Everyone comes out. There's thousands of people that show up to this event. It's a great place. Um, I, I believe you can bring your dog, but just make sure they're on a leash. It's also the home of where we do Bark in the Park as well. As we are recording this, this is um, April of 2022. We actually just had Bark in the Park back in March. And so it was a great time. Uh, like I said, just like Auburn City Fest, lots of local vendors, uh, uh, plenty of people to kind of interact with and get to know the community around the Auburn area. Another great perk about Kiesel Park is that it's got a lot of green space. So you, if you want to picnic, you've got that. Um, and it's also a great place for a wedding venue as well, as well as birthday parties. Uh, some of the negatives about Kiesel Park is that it does not have a playground. So there's no swings or anything like that for kids. So it's really, it's really just geared towards more. So if you want to go and run a track on a weekend, uh, take your dog, out but yes Kiesel Park my number one best dog park in town. The second park we're going to talk about is the Auburn Opelika Skate Park so we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk a little bit about if you have maybe some kids or if you like to enjoy on the weekends or during the weekdays and go and ride a skateboard if you like to rollerblade ride your mountain bike at like a concrete park this is really going to be it so um, growing up I always skateboarded and we always were looking for the concrete parks and we'd have to go all the way to Atlanta to find a really nice concrete park. Well, you no longer have to drive any further, more than five or 10 minutes if you live here in Auburn, located off of uh, East University Drive and Indian Pines Drive, where Indian Pines Golf Course is, is the new Auburn Opelika Concrete Park. This was a partnership between the city of Auburn and the city of Opelika and really just uh, created a whole new outlet for and a place to call home for all the for all the people here in town that love to skateboard and rollerblade. Uh, a quick note about the park is on Saturday mornings is reserved for RC cars. So if you're actually into RC cars and and running those around, um, that's a great time to go on Saturday mornings over to the Auburn Opelika Skate Park. Uh, some of the negatives about the park is that it is located next to a golf course. So. You cannot, uh, you've got to keep your head on a swivel a little bit. Uh, every once in a while, there may be a stray ball hit that way. That is the number nine off the number nine fairway. So uh, just keep an eye out on some golf balls coming your way. But it is a really nice park. It's got a great location. It's super close to if you're going to make a, a day to go get a quick lunch and come back. It's a great location for that. But check out the Auburn Opelika Skate Park. 
The next two parks we're going to talk about are all about kids. So we're going to be looking at playgrounds, places where you can take your little kids. Um, if you need something that is handicap accessible, or if you have older kids that really just want to go and find a great park uh, that's got swings. So we're going to actually cover my top two because um, I couldn't call just one of them my favorite over the other. Uh, and I'm going to tell you exactly the reasons why. And so the first one we're going to cover is Hickory Dickory Park. And so the park is located off of Suge Jordan Parkway on the north side of Auburn. A uh, few quick things about this park is that it's got good parking off of the main road, um, but it also has a secondary entrance in the Kerry Woods neighborhood on the north side. Uh, there is a cul-de-sac that backs up to this park, which is great. I personally used to live in the neighborhood, and so we used to walk our kids down uh, on the weekends or during the weekdays, and it was just a really nice, easy place. So if you're looking for a really good neighborhood that has a great big big kids park with everything you can imagine uh, the Kerry Woods neighborhood is going to be a really good opportunity for that but getting back to the park is that it's got tons of green space some good picnic areas so on the weekends if you want to make kind of a big day about it uh, you can it's got plenty of room for doing birthdays parties get togethers it's a lot of fun for kids you know if it's the end of the school year and you want to have a party for the kids in the class that's a great park to go to it also does have facilities on site so it does have a restroom water fountain Mountain, stuff like that and then there's also the playground the playground is what's, what everybody's going there for it's got handicap accessible ramps um, it's also got a designated toddler area this was a big thing for us because I have young kids and so we were looking for a place where I can bring my toddlers and I can kind of let them roam and have fun without them getting trampled by some older kids and uh, give them a little bit more space so the whole structure is is made of wood it's a big wood playground it looks like a fort as a little kid I couldn't imagine I bet it looked looks absolutely amazing to them. Um, but it's got wood mulch down. And then also for a little bit older kids, um, it's got really good obstacles. It's got good slides. Um, it's got a lot of staircases and slides, uh, tube slides. It's got a couple tube slides, which is really nice. And then it also has these little zip lines as well. So this park's great for kids. But one of the negatives about it is actually the age of it. So since it is made of wood, is that it does require more maintenance by the city. And it is maintained by the city. Um, um, but it is a wood structure. Uh, every once in a while, you may find something that is broken and it may be broken for a little bit, but typically the city will be notified and they'll get right to it and fix it. But that is one of the things about Hickory Dickory Park that is kind of a negative is the age and some of the wear and tear on the playground over the years. So the second park I want to talk about is Duck Sanford Park. And this park is really unique because not only does it have baseball fields and it's got Duck Sanford Stadium where Auburn High School plays uh, football and soccer and lacrosse, but it's also got two parks. So it's got two kids parks. So one is geared for smaller kids and we're going to talk about that one first. And so the location for uh, this park at Duck Sanford is accessible from East University. University Drive just across from McAllister's which is absolutely perfect because we love to go there for lunch and so if you want to go there like on a mid-morning or during lunchtime it's got a covered pavilion area with tables so if you want to set out a good lunch you can it's also got restrooms on site as far as the kids playground area, it has turf It actually has like AstroTurf. And then uh, the, the structure is made of uh, uh, rubber coated metal. And then it's also got kind of a, a covered tube area that you climb up. It's got a, a slide, a few obstacles. It's got a couple slides and a few obstacles. Um, my little one, she loves this little kind of Ninja Warrior. Um, they look like mushrooms that you have to hop one to the another. And then it's got a little beam for the kids to walk too. So uh, it's a really nice, well done park. I will say what really big perks about this park, it's covered. So it has a big screen that covers the actual play area and it's got a really nice bench there. So for parents, you know, it, during the summertime and you know it gets hot in Alabama. And this is really our favorite park to take our kids to during the summertime when, when they were really little because of that feature. So you also got a baseball field. You can hop over and kick a ball around, play soccer. 
And then on the other side of the park is a little bit older kids, much, much bigger structure, metal park. Um, and it also is covered mostly. It's mostly covered and it's got AstroTurf. Uh, we actually just got done doing an Easter egg hunt there, which is a ton of fun. Um, it's got a humongous humongous parking lot there um, because it's for uh, the little league baseball played there so it's got tons of parking and so the bigger kids park's got plenty of slides uh, real big metal structure you know it's got monkey bars and all kinds of fun obstacles for kids to kind of uh, hang around wear them out you know get them nice and tired to go go get a nap and so having two parks at that one park is great now I'll tell you the big negative about that the big negative about the two is that they're actually kind of separated so you've got the really little kids park and then you gotta go down the hill through the baseball fields and then you gotta climb back up the hill up a staircase to get to the bigger kids park so if you have kids of multiple ages this could be a little bit of a issue whenever you go you've kind of got to uh, you know organize your time as far as which park you're going to be at first versus the other one so just be aware of that it's a great park regardless duck sanford park wonderful one of our favorites we visit it all the time the next part we're going to jump right into is the crayer preserve and nature center so this is located off of north college street if you continue past Publix, it'll be on your right it's surrounded by neighborhoods uh, one thing i really love about this park uh, is that it's completely wooded it's got great trails nice gentle trails for walking so if you're looking for a really nice simple place to take your kids or spend a weekend this is a really good park it's got a kids park as well it's got a playground uh, a few things about the playground is that it has kind of like a bird's nest everything's real natural there so uh, it's got like a tree house it's got a sand pit it's got like this spider web looking crawl wall thing that the kids can crawl on it's got a couple slides as well uh, it does have really good parking as well um, also what's unique about Crayer is that it's also an educational place for your kids um, as well as you know adults as well uh, Auburn University uh, tends to put on events like we just went to the salamander show where my uh, kids got to listen and learn about salamanders and then also uh, they actually just got rid of the alligator they typically will have a small alligator on site for kids to look at and they kind of house and and take care of them in their transition so uh, and they do a really good job of that they also have theme walking trails so they have like discovery hikes is what they call them so you can go on a discovery hike and it's typically themed with a holiday so Valentine's Day had like a hearts trail uh, that you go and you kind of take pictures with the hearts and they have a little bit of information um, as well as in the park there's also a waterfall with a nice little deck where you can do a picnic area as well it's got a big pond that you can walk around you can spend honestly a couple hours there as long as you want and it's just a really nice park it is open sun up to sundown just like most of them but uh, the Crayer preserve is really one that i would check out uh, another great thing about the park that we love is that it has summer programming so if you're looking for more of like a nature school uh, this would be a really good place to uh to check out so check out the uh, Crayer preserve and nature center uh, this is a great spot to go to for educational resources now if you are still watching this video and you are enjoying the content, make sure to throw us a thumbs up as well as leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the parks that we covered so far or if there's any more that you'd like us to cover after the video. All right, we're going to get right back into it. Next, we're going to talk about the best hiking and mountain biking park. Now, this one's really exciting to me because personally, I love to mountain bike and I love to hike. So I really, really love this park and that is Chihuahua State Park. So it's not a city park, it is a state park, but it is located within Auburn city limits. It's located in South Auburn off of Shell Tumor Parkway. It kind of runs right into Shell Tumor where it meets Wrights Mill Road. So it's right there at the intersection. Uh, one thing you need to know is bring a couple bucks because it does cost a little bit of money to actually go into the park and you'll understand why once you go in. As you go into the park, uh, you'll notice that they have they have uh, primitive camping as well as RV camping. So you can kind of go glamping or you can uh, just throw up a tent, but you do have to register with the office when you get there. So if you want to stay there overnight, you have to register and also get a get a camping spot as you continue on in the park it's got ample parking all over plenty of pavilions for parties birthday parties hanging out but we're just going to get right into the hiking and biking as well so there are cross-country trails all around this park 
I absolutely love this one. Whenever I get to go out on the weekends with my buddies, um, I'm more of a cross country mountain biker. So uh, we like to ride the triple C trail all around and it's, it's a, it's a good ride. It's a very good ride. If you're looking for something a little bit more challenging, they do have tougher trails as well as you continue on, um, actually on both sides of the park. So really good downhill. Uh, it's got an amazing slalom course. So if you and your buddies want to uh, race downhill, it's actually got an awesome slalom course that you can check out with a couple jumps. So be careful, uh, wear a helmet. This park is absolutely no joke when it comes to mountain biking. Make sure that when you go, you are geared up. So quick tips on that. We do have James Bros bikes that you can check out is a great resource as well as the Trek store over by the mall. So check out those two stores if you're looking for a place you can actually do a bike rental if you want to try out a bike or if you're looking for safety gear as well. So and you'll typically find those folks out there on the trail whenever you're there. So the trails are maintained by a group called Camp and so they're really well maintained and you can also hike on them. It does have designated hiking trails and mountain biking trails. Some of them are shared but just always be aware that when you're there there's typically going to be mountain bikers riding all around that park um, if you like big downhill it's got an awesome downhill jump area uh, with some obstacles so if you're if you're a little bit more into you know jumping full suspension uh, mountain bikes that's a great spot to go on the back side of the park as well as just if you're hiking you can hike down to the waterfall so Chihuahua has a waterfall that if you park on the back side of the uh, of the park you can hike down and go to the waterfall so Chihuahua State Park absolutely check it out I think there's close to 30 miles worth of trails at least there and you can spend all day there no problem also just a side note on the park is that if you do have kids or if you're looking for a summertime thing to do it's a great park to go to it does have a big pond as well as like a beach area and also a play set with swings too so you can hang out there plenty of facilities plenty of space it's a great spot to go check out Chihuahua State Park okay I've covered some amazing parks so far I have covered my personal favorite park now I'm going to cover the most versatile park this is my favorite for walking we're going to talk about it being a venue park this is a great place that is very central to Auburn and that is Town Creek Park Town Creek Park it's located off of South Gay Street so if you're leaving downtown off of Gay Street, south of Amsterdam, right in the middle of the older neighborhoods, you're going to find Town Creek Park. Now, when you pull in, it's got plenty of parking. It is open from sunup to sundown. It also has facilities on site. So if you're looking for a restroom, it does have them there, as well as uh, it's got a playground for kids. So it's got it's not a really big playground, which is kind of a negative, but it does have one. It also kind of has kind of a cool rock climbing wall for kids as well. So uh, check that out. It does have a small little kids park. Now, the park has just about a mile long walking trail around it, and it also has a big pond full of turtles and fish. And so it's got this dock that goes out, this covered pavilion area that goes out into the water. And you can go over there and check out all the turtles in the water. They'll come up. They're like dogs. Now, my kids, they tend to feed them uh, either puffs or Cheerios or goldfish. They love it. Uh, and it's a ton of fun for kids. Uh, there's also a trail of trees that were planted. So they have little placards. And my, my kids like to go from tree to tree to tree and uh, pick out the trees and name them. And then uh, so it's really just a nice park to go to a little bit over a mile trail. Another great part about this park is that it's just so central in town. So anywhere you live, Town Creek's really not that far away from you. If you do live in the Cloverleaf neighborhood, it's actually got a walking trail through the back side that enters the park. So uh, it does have an alternative entrance as well as another entrance off of Wrights Mill Road, one off South Gay. And then if you're coming out of the neighborhoods off of East University, you can actually go in that way as well. Now, this is also my favorite venue park. So moving on from not just a walking park or kind of a stroll, but uh, this is my favorite venue park. And the reason why is because it has the summer concert series. And so during the summer concert series runs basically May to August, um, you can check out evening uh, music and it's got this awesome gentle grade hill where you can go and put lawn chairs, you can bring a big blanket, bring out the whole family, go hang out and you can watch whatever band's playing that weekend. And so it's also for another venue, it's the Auburn, um, the city market that's on Saturday mornings during the summertime as well. The city market where people will set up tents and offer, um, you know, everything from jams, jellies, honey is really big here uh, and other artisan 
local artisans here so you can really support local kind of get to know the community i will say as far as a constant stable of community and culture for auburn town creek park is going to be a really great place to visit it's just a really simple park to go to now moving into my favorite part about town creek and it hasn't even been released yet so if you've stayed in this video this long i'm going to give you a little bonus feature about the park and uh, over by Wrights Mill Road Elementary across the street, there uh, there was a big a wooded area that they cleared and they put in the now all-inclusive park. This thing is unreal. So it's uh, got everything from big dome rock climbing walls. Uh, it's for big kids, little kids. Uh, it was. Um, it's got room for. Uh, anybody that needs handicap accessible swings. The park is for everyone. And so that was kind of what the city wanted to achieve. It was a huge investment, uh, I think around 1.9 or $2 million investment by the city. Now this park is not open yet. So you cannot go and visit this park yet as of April of 2022, but it is coming this year. We're all super excited. I think when we've always kind of traveled and, and seen uh, different cities, is that there's always really that one park that's absolutely massive and it's got a huge section for older kids, huge section for little kids and everything in between. Well, this has got it. It's got nice. It's I mean, it is extremely well done. I mean, for it to be almost a two million dollar park, this is it. So it also has facilities on site as well as good parking off of the street as well. Now, if you stuck with me this long, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Now there is one little small park I am gonna throw in there cause I do like to play disc golf myself. And so on campus at Auburn University, there is a nine hole disc golf course by the Big Red Barn. So you can Google that and search it and uh, check that out. It's a really nice place to go. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Uh, like I said, if you guys are looking to make a move to the Auburn Opelika area, we want to be the team. We want to be the agents that you're trusting to help make that transition to the area. No one knows the area better than me and my team. So reach out to me, the ACUF Weekly Group, EXP Realty. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. You can call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of us. We're here to help you make that transition. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.